In the darkness of the night when the world sleeps, there are tales that stir, unheard, unseen, and unforgotten. In the heartland of America, nestled among meandering rivers and sprawling farmlands, lies the state of Ohio, a place known for its vibrant cities and friendly folks. But beneath the surface of this ordinary Midwestern state, there's a hidden layer, a tapestry of tales that are anything but ordinary. Ohio, with its rich history, carries a legacy of stories, stories that have been passed down through generations. These are not the kind of stories you'd tell around a campfire. No, these stories whisper through the halls of abandoned buildings, echo in the depths of forgotten woods, and linger in the dusty corners of old, deserted towns. They are tales of the unexplained, the supernatural, the downright chilling, stories that have left even the most hardened skeptics questioning their disbelief. Tonight, we delve into the unknown, into the chilling ghost stories from the heart of Ohio, USA. Our first tale takes us to the eerie Franklin Castle, a place where death and despair have left their indelible marks. In the heart of Cleveland, Ohio stands a structure that is as grand as it is unsettling. This is Franklin Castle, a Victorian edifice draped in stories as dark as its imposing stone facade. Built in the late 19th century by a prosperous German immigrant, Hannes Tiedemann, the castle was meant to be a testament to his success, but instead it turned into a mausoleum of sorrow. The Tiedemann family was plagued by numerous tragedies. Four of Hannes's children died in the castle under mysterious circumstances, their young lives snuffed out before their time. His wife Louise succumbed to an untimely death as well, her last breath drawn within the castle's cold stone walls. Some say it was grief that took her. Others whisper of more sinister causes. Grief-stricken and alone, Hannes sold the castle and so began its long and troubled history. Over the years, it changed hands many times, each new owner adding another layer to its chilling lore. There were reports of strange happenings, of voices echoing through empty rooms, of spectral figures glimpsed in the dead of night. The ghost of a woman in black, believed to be Louise Tiedemann, is said to wander the castle's halls, her mournful cries heard in the stillness of the night. There are tales of children's laughter echoing eerily from the empty rooms where the Tiedemann children once played, and then there are the stories of the secret passages and hidden rooms where it is said Hannes hid the evidence of his dark deeds. Despite numerous renovations and attempts to cleanse the castle of its spectral inhabitants, the hauntings persist. Paranormal investigators and thrill-seekers alike have reported inexplicable cold spots, sudden feelings of dread and encounters with the castle's ghostly residents. The echoes of the past still haunt Franklin Castle, a chilling reminder of the lives that once unfolded within its walls. From one haunted edifice to another, we travel to the site of the Gore Orphanage, where the innocent laughter of children has turned into cries of despair. In the heart of Ohio, nestled within a web of forests and fields, lies the chilling tale of Gore Orphanage. Its name alone evokes a sense of dread, but the real horror lies in its tragic past. Once a sanctuary for parentless children, it now stands as a testament to a great calamity that changed its course forever. In the late 19th century, the orphanage was home to countless children, their laughter and chatter echoing through its hallowed halls. But one fateful night, a devastating fire consumed the building, its flames dancing with an insatiable hunger. Trapped within the fiery inferno, the innocent souls of the children were lost to the world. The once lively orphanage was reduced to ash, but the cries of the children refused to be silenced. They lingered, echoing through the years, a haunting reminder of the innocent lives extinguished too soon. Visitors and locals alike have reported hearing the eerie sounds of children's laughter and cries, forever frozen in their final moment of fear and despair. As the sun dips below the horizon and night cloaks the land, the spectral children are said to emerge. Their ghostly figures, illuminated by the moonlight, wander the grounds, forever trapped in their tragic past. Their mournful wails pierce the silence of the night, a chilling symphony of sorrow and regret. The Gore Orphanage is more than just a site of a tragic fire. It's a stark reminder of the innocent lives lost, their spirits unwilling or unable to find peace. Their laughter has turned into cries, their joy into despair, but they are not forgotten. Their memories live on, as haunting as the spectral figures that roam the orphanage grounds. The Gore Orphanage, a place of lost innocence forever imprinted with the spirits of the children who once called it home. 
Our journey leads us next to the Moonville Tunnel, an abandoned railway tunnel echoing with the ghostly whispers of its tragic past. Nestled in the remote forest of Ohio, the Moonville Tunnel is a chilling reminder of a bygone era. Once it was a bustling hub of activity where trains laden with coal and iron ore would thunder through, carrying the promise of prosperity. But now, it stands silent, an eerie monument to the past. The Moonville Tunnel was not without its share of tragedy. Throughout its active years, numerous accidents were recorded. The darkness and isolation of the tunnel often proved fatal, claiming the lives of many unsuspecting souls. One of the most infamous incidents involved a brakeman who, in the dead of night, was crushed under the wheels of a passing train. His lantern was found still burning at the scene of the accident. Since then, countless witnesses have reported seeing a spectral figure holding a lantern, wandering aimlessly within the tunnel. Could this be the restless spirit of the ill-fated brakeman, forever trapped in the place of his demise? Then there's the tale of the young woman, dressed all in white, who met her end in a similar fashion. Her ghostly apparition is said to appear on moonlit nights, her ethereal cries echoing through the deserted tunnel. Despite the passage of time, the Moonville Tunnel refuses to let go of its past. The spirits of those who perished here seem bound to this place, their stories forever etched into the crumbling bricks and moss-covered stones. As you venture deeper into the tunnel, the air grows colder, the silence more profound. The only sound is your own heartbeat pounding in your ears as you strain to hear the spectral whispers from the shadows. It's as if the very walls of the tunnel are alive with the echoes of the past, each chilling tale more haunting than the last. The Moonville Tunnel, a monument to a forgotten era, continues to echo with the spectral presence of those who met their untimely end within its cold, dark confines. From haunted castles to orphanages, from eerie tunnels to the very heart of Ohio, we've journeyed through the spectral remnants of a past that refuses to rest. We began our journey at Franklin Castle, a grand structure whose beauty masks a chilling history of sorrow and mystery. We heard the whispers of a tragic family, their spirits still lingering in the castle's halls, their stories echoing through the centuries. Their spectral presences serve as eerie reminders of the castle's dark past, a past that continues to haunt the present. Next, we ventured into the desolate ruins of Gore Orphanage. The echoes of innocent laughter turned to screams of terror, the remnants of a devastating fire that claimed many young lives. The ethereal cries of the unfortunate souls still resonate in the air, a chilling testament to the tragedy that unfolded there. The ghostly children of Gore Orphanage continue to seek solace, their spirits forever trapped in the fiery inferno of their past. Our journey then led us to the shadowy depths of Moonville Tunnel, the spectral figure of a brakeman, forever bound to the place of his untimely demise, haunts the tunnel. His ghostly lantern, a beacon in the darkness, continues to warn oncoming trains, a chilling reminder of his tragic fate. Each of these tales paints a haunting picture of Ohio's past. They serve as chilling reminders of the state's history, a history that refuses to rest. These spectral remnants of a bygone era continue to haunt the present, their stories forever etched in the very heart of Ohio. Thanks for joining us on this spine-chilling journey. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share these tales with your friends. Remember, the darkness holds many secrets, and we'll continue to uncover them together.